Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering some very tricky subjects and predicates. So if you're not quite caught up on these topics, go、uh, check them out. Links around, and then、uh, head on back. Okay, so we know that every sentence has a subject and a predicate, a complete and simple subject. And a complete and simple predicate, to be exact. And usually, the subject comes first, and the predicate comes last, like this: My niece turned twelve today. Complete subject is my niece. Simple subject is just niece. Complete predicate is turned twelve today, and the simple predicate is just turned. Cool, easy, right? If you know your basic subjects and predicates, you already know that. But what happens when our subjects and predicates are not in that very basic standard order? What happens if you have a sentence like this? In the tree sat two ravens. Okay, so take a moment and look at this. What is my complete subject in this sentence? Who or what am I really talking about? Take some time. Answer here is two ravens. But as you can see, that's not the first part of the sentence. So the subject here is actually at the end, and my predicate, this part, is at the beginning. So my simple subject would be ravens, and my simple predicate would be sat, but they're kind of backwards, right? They're not in that typical subject and then predicate order. The same is true when we have questions. Did you complete your homework? Take a look. What's my subject here? Should be easy enough to find, right? It's you. Both the complete and simple subjects are you, and that's great. It's sort of towards the beginning, like normal. Not that strange or out of place or anything. But what about my predicate? Obviously, the complete predicate is everything aside from the complete subject, which means that it would be all of this, and that's a little bit strange, isn't it? To have your predicate split around your subject, and even the simple predicate is split around the subject because technically the simple predicate here is did complete. So again, very strange stuff. Not that typical subject then predicate routine. And how about this one? Go sit down. Okay. So this is a command, someone telling someone else to do something, and this is where things get really weird because technically my subject is invisible. Yep, that's right, my subject is invisible. When you have a command, when you have someone telling someone else to do something, your subject is suggested or implied or assumed, and it is suggested or implied or assumed to be the word you, whether that means you singular, like just one person needs to go sit down. Or whether it means you plural, like a whole group of people needs to sit down. Okay, so I can't really underline or circle my subject because it's not actually written in the sentence. The actual writing you see is all predicate. Go sit down is all the predicate, with the simple predicate being go sit. Okay, so remember, with commands, your actual subject is you, but it's not written because it's suggested or implied or assumed, because generally. When someone makes a command in real life, it's very obvious who they're talking to, right? So now let's see if you can do a few. Take a look at this. Over there in the forest are two evil monsters. Take a minute and see if you can find the complete subject. Got it? Should have said two evil monsters, which again is not in a very traditional spot in the sentence. But once you've found that, you should know that the simple subject is just monsters. And the rest of the sentence would be your complete predicate. And what would your simple predicate be? Answer is R. Two more. Have you seen Joseph lately? Okay. So another question, like one of the examples we looked at. Complete and simple subjects are the same. They're both you, making the complete predicate all of this stuff. And the simple predicate, again, very weird in the placement here, would be have seen. Last one. Stay away from me, okay? So here's another command, like we said earlier. So tell me, where's my subject here? What is it? Answer is suggested or implied or assumed. You, you singular, you plural. We don't know, but the subject is you, even if it's not written. That's our complete and simple subject. So our complete predicate is all of the written stuff. Stay away from me, and the simple predicate within that is just stay. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. 
Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.